why do you think there's such a demand out there for young men looking to improve their love life or to find answers or justifications for where they find themselves in society? Yeah, if I can just add about masculinity. So when you read some literature about mental health and actually not written by experts, usually written by journalists or people who have a tangential connection to psychiatry or mental health sciences, uh, it's sometimes kind of said that masculinity is a problem. I don't know if you remember those years ago that the Gillette ad, uh, Oh, uh, yeah. there was an ad put out by Gillette about uh, masculinity and toxic masculinity and it was and at the same time the american psychological association released a set of guidelines about working with men and boys that more or less framed masculinity as a uh, as a problem whereas in fact the research i've done and the i talk about this in my book as well the uh, um the literature i've looked at masculine it's the absence of masculinity that is a problem in terms of mental health Uh, what do I mean by that? So if you look at boys and young men, for example, who grow up in single mother households, uh, they're much more likely, and, and this is statistically uh, proven, I'm not trying to stigmatize single mother households, but uh, men who grow up without a father present, without uh, a masculine presence, they're much more likely to be involved in delinquency, involved in crime, more likely to have mental health issues, more likely to drop out of high school. Uh, so the presence of a father in the house is a huge predictor of well-being, success, social integration. Um, and and it, we see that even in uh, in terms of social mobility, uh, it's the people who grow up in a, in a poor family, but where there's a man present, and there's solid kind of values, working class values of you know, hard work and uh, doing your duty and uh, getting out of bed and, and making the best of it, that, that they're more likely to have social mobility than people who don't grow up in that situation. So the, we, we need the masculinity as a friend of mental health, not an enemy. That's one of my key messages in, in the books that I've written. And uh, sadly, that message is not being pervaded. And what do I mean by masculinity? You mentioned Arnold Schwarzenegger. We have these stereotypes, but the things I'm talking about are very simple things: uh, uh, having a purpose in life, life having a job, maybe having a part-time job when you're a student, uh, producing things, producing some kind of content. I don't necessarily mean internet content, but uh, having a hobby where things happen at the end of the hobby, um, a physical exercise, uh, team sports, uh, a bit where you learn to. Uh, be gracious in victory, learn to be magnanimous in victory, uh, learn to take defeats on the chin, learn that you don't always get what you want. Um, so uh, having a job, uh, you know, what is the opposite of masculinity? Um, it's not it's not femininity, but it's uh, what I would say is if you're at home watching TV all day, not doing anything, that's not really masculine. Uh, and everybody who's in that situation doesn't really want to be in that situation and wants to be in a job, wants to be in education, wants to be doing things. And that's they're the people who are likely to become depressed and then be the target of psychiatric intervention to help them get back on track. Uh, so important to say that mas masculinity is is really a friend of like mental health. And uh, there can be accesses of masculinity, which can be self-destructive and certain risk taking, for example, um and uh but we we don't need to throw out the whole concept uh and that's what sadly what some of the discourse says and i think that's very dangerous for for men and boys who who, who read some of that more popular discourse and and might say to themselves oh i should be less masculine because that's toxic when in fact well if you're exercising you're looking after your body you're going to work you're providing your breadwinner for you and and your family uh that's very positive for you and your mental health because the alternative is sitting at home watching TV doing nothing that is not good for your mental health. Oh, for sure. 